Hi, today we'll make this cute cork board using clay and recycling cardstock. So stay with me and subscribe to my channel. For today's project, we'll use the air dry color plus clay that comes on different colors. It's a very soft clay and you can combine all the colors to create new and alive ones. You'll see that when the pieces dry, they are so lightweight that you'll be able to make this project. For making the clay appliques, you'll need some red, green, white and yellow clay. We'll also do some color combinations with them. You'll also need a rolling pin, a vegetable cutter, a knife, a wood stick, a ruler and some water. So for making the cork base, You'll need some box cardstock. You can use here a pizza box if you want to. A piece of cork, some deco paper, hot silicon, some buttons, a piece of ribbon, a cutter, a punch, and a glue stick. You first need to cut the box on two rectangles. 18 by 27 centimeters each. In this case, the cardstock I'm using is white on this side and brown on the other side. So I'll use the white side for the external parts of the project. Don't worry if your box is brown both sides. Your project will be cute as mine. Those two rectangles will be the cork base. So remember that any clay applique you make has to match with the cardstock size. Start kneading some white clay to make a roll. Then knead it using the rolling pin to make a strip. Now cut the leftover clay. Use a ruler or a cardstock strip for cutting a stretch line. I'm cutting using this zigzag vegetable cutter, but if you don't have something like this, cut a stretch line and then make the zigzag using a stick or a pencil. Do the same thing on the bottom. If you like this video, Click right now on the subscribe button for more cool videos like this one. Then remove the leftover clay. Decorate, making small holes all along the clay strip using a wooden stick to obtain a kind of ribbon. Now make two more strips like this one to make the ribbon applique. Cut some pieces, wet the ends with a little water and fold to make the loops. Well glue the center, press it a little bit and put on small clay strip. Cut two more pieces for making the ribbon strips. Glue those pieces on top of the big strip and then glue the ribbon on top too. Now make some V-cuts to each strip. Now we'll make those mini flowers that are a kind of rosebuds. And what you'll need is yellow and pink clay. So for making this pink clay, 
I have mixed some white clay and a little bit of red clay. And for making this pastel yellow clay, I have mixed yellow and white. So for making a rosebud, you first need to make a yellow mini ball. This will be the flower center. Now take the pink clay, make a small ball, then wet your fingers with a little bit of water, and then press the ball to make a kind of petal. Now put this petal around the yellow ball. It'll glue to the ball because the clay is wet. Repeat twice. Make a pink ball. Press it a little bit with wet fingers. Press it to make a petal and glue it around the yellow center. Then repeat one last time. Make a pink ball, press it between your wet fingers, make a petal and then glue it around the yellow ball. Here you have the mini flower or rosebud with the yellow center. The same way, make more little flowers for decorating the ribbon. Now, let's do those tiny yellow daisies. So take a piece of yellow plus clay, the same amount as the rosebud balls. Wet it with some water and press it a little bit. Now use a stick to make the petals. One, two, three, four, and five. Here you have it. And now you put on top a tiny, tiny white ball. Wet the flower a little bit. Put the ball on top, press a little bit, and using the stick, you'll join both pieces making a hole. And here is the flower. Make many of these daisies so you can decorate the ribbon. Now let's make some leaves. So you'll need some green plus clay and also some lighter green clay that you can make just by mixing green and some yellow clay. So for making a leaf, just take a piece of green clay, make a little ball, then knead it to make a cone, and then press the biggest side with a stick. Here, like making the leaf midrib. And here it is. I'll make it again. Make a ball, then a cone, and then the midrib using the stick. Make more of these little leaves using dark and light green clay. Now let's cut the rosebud bottoms so the flowers can stand up like this one. So you just need to carefully cut this small pig here and your flower will be ready. Wet a little bit the ribbon and the strip with water and using your finger or a brush. Wet also the flowers bottoms 
and glue them for decorating. Continue decorating with leaves and daisies and remember to wet always every piece so they will glue. Continue decorating all the ribbon as you like. Measure your applique with a cardstock base and cut the clay strip a little bit bigger than the base. I'm leaving more or less a quarter inch each side. Remember that the clay can shorten its size while drying. Look, I want to show you that I made another strip like the ribbon one to put it on the left upper corner. You'll have to cut this strip a little bit bigger than the base. When you have all your clay appliques done, let them dry for two or three hours or even the night. Let's decorate one cardstock piece with a pattern paper. So start applying lots of glue stick on one of the cardstock rectangles. Now glue the cardstock against the paper's back. Use a ruler to well glue the paper and the cardstock. Now use a ruler and a cutter for cutting the leftover paper. Make marks at one and a half centimeters from the side and from the top on both upper corners. Punch both corners on the marks you just did. Turn the cardstock pieces, put some hot silicone, and glue one against the other. Place the punch on the original holes and punch again for making holes on the other cardstock. Now cut a piece of cork 17 by 16 centimeters. Now that you have the cork, place it on the center, leaving some space from the holes. Put under it the ribbon applique, more or less here. It has to enter on the board. Then the cork goes over here and this applique here. So now, make a line here, more or less over here. Make a line from here to there and cut over this stretch line here, from side to side. So you cut this piece here. So remove the decoration and cut this corner. Place all the pieces in place and glue them with hot silicone. Now 
Cut a 20 inch piece of ribbon and pass both ends through the holes. Join the ribbon ends and buttons with hot silicone or sewing them. After sewing or gluing the ribbon, make a knot on top to make it nicer. For decorating the cork, you can make more flowers and glue them on pins to hold your messages and pictures. That easy, you can make your own recycled cork for your pictures and messages. I hope you like this project. Mark us favorite and post a like. Subscribe to our channel. Follow us on networks. Share with your friends and click the following images to watch more videos. See you soon. Bye!